The second method of vector addition and subtraction is the component method. Earlier, we discussed about component vector, which is essential in doing the component vector. As we can see in the figure, we have the problem that the resultant vector is equivalent to the sum of vector A and vector B. As we can see in the first figure, this is vector A, this is vector B, and the resultant is the red arrow, where with the red arrow, which is the vector C. And to do this one, we have to find the each component of vector A and vector B relative to the horizon or the x-axis and the vertical or the y-axis. That's mean, which means vector A, we're going to get the x component AX and the y component AY. For vector B, we get the x component BX and the y component BY. Now, the next procedure after getting the each component of the um, of, the, of each vector, we add the the components at the same um, at the same axis, which means vector uh, a x and b x and also a y and b y. By adding them, we can get now the resultant x component and the resultant y component, which means ax plus bx is the resultant cx and ay plus by is the resultant y component, which makes a perpendicular vector. So we can with this we can solve now for vector C and its angle.